It's MTV Cribs. Hi, I feel like I can't talk that loud. Our neighbors are gonna think we're weird. Yeah. Who wants to live next to yeah, a mediocre there. YouTuber? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> For real though. It is quiet. I guess that's a good thing, but uh, yeah. it's too quiet. It's like that scene in Shrek. Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Victoria I'm Garrett. Whispering or yelling? Once I'm, I'm, I'm whisper yelling. Once we get inside, I'm gonna talk normally, but I just don't wanna make people hate us before we move the building. Today, I'm going to be giving you a empty tour of our apartment, which by the way, I remember watching these videos before I had an apartment. I was like, these are so stupid. Like why would someone even want to show people their empty apartment and why would anyone watch this? But now here I am with an apartment that I'm obsessed with and I'm like, come see my empty apartment. So I totally get it if you don't wanna watch this. Anyways, for those of you who do, I'm super excited. I'm gonna be taking you through the apartment that my boyfriend Max and I are gonna be moving into. Max is actually filming this, fun fact. Thanks, babe. Yeah. <laughs> cool, okay, let's just get started. Here we go. Okay, so when you first walk in, on the left is this little laundry room, which is so cute. We have in-unit washer dryer. Really looking forward to this. I think we're gonna do like some pictures in here, probably some shelving for like, sh we'll probably do like some- For the place, Costco runs? Yeah, a place where you like, kick, your, kick your shoes off here, and then probably do some storage for like, you know, mudroom stuff. This area was super clutch, not all the places we looked at had this. Yeah, this is this is really cool for sure. And then, I don't know, my mom was saying like maybe we could hang up our jerseys in here, it could be cool, I don't know. Or, or put mine behind this huge little <laughs> gray thing, what the heck, yeah. Vix goes here, the, the pristine jersey, Woo! stick browns right behind this guy. Okay, also this is so funny, you guys, Max is dying because I think I'm like a little interior designer these days, I'm like, I just, all I do is Pinterest, all I do is watch like Studio McGee and like home makeover shows. So you're gonna hear me throughout this video say things like, <laughs> I'm actually trying so hard is what I said. So here, I'm thinking we're gonna do like, also, I'm gonna share my ideas because if you guys have better ideas, please comment down below and be like, no, Vic, you are so wrong. You should do a mirror here or you should do a bench here. So I'm just gonna tell you what I'm thinking. So here I'm thinking probably like a mirror just to let when like you're leaving, if anyone needs to like check hair or like, I don't know, something like that could be cute. Not a lot of space though, and I don't wanna clutter the entry. Okay. Then. Sorry. <laughs> this is the This is essentially my studio. I'm really excited for this. This will be where I can do real pod, where I can do my day to day work, where I can film YouTube videos. Max will also have a desk in here because he's. I working. made the cut? Well, your work from. Yeah! <laughs> But I did warn him it is gonna be like all pink and girly, so he's gonna have to deal. So against this window, we're thinking of doing desks. So Max's desk will be on the right, my desk will be on the left. And I really love working next to a window because I feel like I can just see out into the day. It's like less claustrophobic than just being like cooped up against a wall. Um, and then over on this side, I like totally splurged. I'm so excited. Um, I got this super gorgeous anthropology mirror that I want to just like have big up here just because I think it will open up the space and just be really good for any type of video, picture content. And like, I just, I wanted the mirror, so. We want to decorate this wall really cool. It could definitely be painted a different color or have like a print or a wallpaper on it. I'm not sure if I want to do that. I'm not that fun. Um, but either way, we're going to do some cool kind of like couch or like day bed here. A super sick wall. And then if I'm filming YouTube videos, I would be here. You would be there. And then this would be the background. So here we have the kitchen. And you can see this is like an open floor plan. So there's not like a divide between the living room and the kitchen. Which what does that mean? Zones! We need zones, baby! Yeah! Zones! We need zones. So something I've been telling Max a ton about is like, because we have an open floor plan, we need to make zones. So we need to have a kitchen zone, we need a living room zone that's probably like isolated with a carpet. You know, all this stuff I'm learning, but we're gonna execute. Along with the space, there were a few things we really wanted to make sure we got an apartment. One of them was space. We wanted things that you 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 wanted. Things that were specific that Vic wanted. She wanted space. I'm looking wanted, at Max to complete as if it was a mutual thing, but it was just all my requests. She wanted tall ceilings. So there was a couple places we looked at that I could do like a little mini hop and touch the, touch I mean, the top. And that, it's funny how that yeah. was my requirement, yet Max is 6'5". If he okay. can jump and touch the ceiling, he should feel claustrophobic. I just 
didn't know okay, enough so to even. That's how I felt. I don't need them super high. Like, look, it's an apartment, but I just, for me to touch the ceiling, I was like <gasps> hyperventilating in the whole place. Like it was, it just felt, yeah. So we wanted space, good amount of ceiling height. We wanted natural light. Like those were the three things for me. And you can see that with these huge windows here, we have a ton of natural light happening in our living room and kitchen, which was key. So this is our kitchen and we're actually super lucky because the apartment is providing this super nice like cutting board type island. And I think it's super cute. Like it makes the kitchen just feel bigger because you can be doing stuff over here, working in the pantry, you know, tossing a salad and then over here you can be cutting, you know? So it's like salad. The functionality, can't, can't beat it. So not only is it an island for my carrot cutting, but if we were to ever like entertain or host people, which Max and I really want to do post COVID, we want to have people over, we love doing that stuff. We would take this table out, probably rotate it. We could do uh, one of these stools here, one of those stools there. And then we're going to get probably four additional bar stools that look a little cuter, a bit more modern and put them on each side. And you could always like cover this with a cute cloth or something, but still planning. But yeah, let me know if you guys think I should leave the uh, legs of this the way they are, or if we should spray paint them white or black. So then we have obviously a uh, microwave, stove top, oh wait, oh my God, oven, stove top, microwave. And then we have this really gorgeous refrigerator. Um, I love that it's a one door fridge because there's just more space. Sometimes obviously, you know, you have the same size refrigerator, but you have a two door. I'm a big two door guy. Really? Yeah. Why? Because if I have to go to the bottom of the shelf, which you have to do often, that is, really far for you it's, to go. It's, it's farther. Over here, I think we're gonna do an entryway type moment, like a little table. Um, I already have one in my old room, so it might just work perfectly. And then put like, I don't know, a painting, or maybe we do the mirror here above it. And then we do like some cute, like table entryway decor. That's just kind of what I'm thinking for this area. But we will find out because there's, this is the thing you guys, there's three walls. There's the first one I showed you, there's this one. And then there's this wall, which maybe should have, um, maybe this one should have the mirror, but these things really, you know, kind of throw it off. Once again, we'll figure it out. Comment down below if you have ideas. Then, my favorite room of the place is the living room. I am absolutely obsessed with this living room. I was always dreaming of a living room that had a two sliding door glass door, but I think it's just gorgeous and it like really, opens up the entire room because of the natural light. Like natural light, I can't express how important it is to me. Like it is a whole mood booster. I need natural light. <laughs> um, the couch would be here and then the L part would be here. And then over in this random area, which once again, what are we creating? Zones! Woo! I'm thinking we're gonna do like a bar cart, uh, bar cabinet with like maybe some bar shelves. And then we want to do like a really cool lead light here to like make our place fun, cool, and you know, spunky vibes. And then we have a carpet to really segment this off. Above the couch, probably gonna do pictures with friends, pictures with family, just to make the place feel homey. And then over here is where we will put the TV, um, which Max and I got at Costco. First purchase is a couple. Yeah. Oh. doing a TV stand that we just ordered. So we'll keep you posting when we furnish. Okay, now onto the balcony, which is like just unreal, like above and beyond anything we thought we could be able to have. The balcony is just so beautiful. It's so spacious. We could have dinner out here. We could put a table out here. I think we're gonna do some sort of love seat. I love to cuddle. <laughs> All my friends, family, and Max know very well that I like love snuggling. So I'd love to- In that order. <laughs> So I'd love to put something on the balcony where we could cuddle and watch the sunset. It's just such a beautiful view with the palm trees and the blue sky. It's, it's just above and beyond gorgeous. So we feel so lucky to have this balcony and it is super long. It connects with our bedroom, um, which we're really excited about. But yeah, not really sure what we're gonna do out here. I'm thinking we're gonna do seating table for eating if we want, possible love seat, maybe leave some space. So maybe I'll get like a fake bush and like put lights in it uh, just to make like a kind of like an outdoor vibe, or maybe I'll get something that goes above the top. I don't know. Once again, you guys, let me know, like really struggling to figure this whole thing out. Okay, so this is the bedroom. 
I'm obsessed with the bedroom. I like am so excited to wake up in it every morning. I think that this room has like a really sweet aura. Uh, we're gonna put the bed here, and that way when you wake up in the morning, you will get to see the beautiful view. And then over here we have this closet. So the bedroom has a closet and the office has a closet, and then we're gonna get a dresser. So Max and I will kind of split and share these spaces, and obviously we're probably gonna get like drawers, maybe run to like Ikea or the container store to get um, drawers and extra things for storage and like shoes and clothes because we're only gonna have one dresser. In terms of the bedroom decor and design, um, we have something special planned for that, so I'll just leave it on a cliffhanger. Okay, now you guys getting to the most crazy part. Um, the bathroom's the most crazy part? Is I mean, it's pretty luxurious, is it not? <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah, no. That's not the most yeah. crazy part. I mean, hey, speak for yourself. That's where, that's where, the, that's where it goes down, I guess. Okay, this is the bathroom. Surprisingly, Max being so tall, one of the apartments we really loved, uh, the shower was kind of short. It literally looked like that scene from Elf where like, Will Ferrell's like putting water on him. Like that was about to be Max every morning. So we love that this place has this gorgeous shower that is so tall. Can I put you? Ooh, barely. And some outside hitter hops. Yeah, it's just... <laughs> There's uh, Vix right here. Max, <laughs> we have that for you, okay? Girls don't poop. Uh, yeah, I got, I got <gasps> no, no take on that. Oh, we didn't show them the guest bathroom. It looks virtually the same, except this one has a shower curtain. Oh my god, this is the first time I'm processing bathtub. Yeah, me too, not gonna lie. Wow, that is so clutch. Like, Zero you know, chance I'm... Fitting in there, or <laughs> any grown adult is fitting in there. But... Yeah, you could fit in here. All right, babe. Come on. I guess it's got a nice little back ramp. I know. I like this back ramp. What is that? That should um, be just industry standard right there. We'll have to get some cute guest decor. I really want the place to feel like adulty. I definitely want it to be youthful and modern and chic and fun, but I definitely don't want it to feel like college apartment. I think Max agrees with me. Like we definitely want it to feel like we're gonna do, we're gonna decorate the guest bathroom with like nude towels and we're gonna put a nice hand soap and really feel like adults. So that is our full empty apartment tour. Um, you know, obviously not much to show because it's empty and it's somewhat cut. Because there's nothing in it. <laughs> you, know what's, you know what's actually funny? Someone's gonna watch this movie like apartment tour. There's nothing well, here. I'm gonna put empty in the title so that we know no one thinks we're clickbait. We hope you guys wait. This is we hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and once again i can't stress this enough if you have ideas if you're like big i'm getting a vision for your living room or your kitchen or you think there's something really cool that we should check out comment down below let me know drop the links i'm so here for learning all your ideas we're gonna have a lot more content coming now i'm super excited about it just by living together we'll do more apartment content slash decorating comment down below if that's interesting to you so that i can definitely keep that in mind as i go through piecing the room. Don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel so you never miss a video. Hit the thumbs up and give this a like. Also hit the bell so you get notified. And you can also follow me on social media throughout the week. And you can also follow Max if you wanna, you know, show him some love. Yeah. <laughs> okay, thanks so much for watching and I will see you guys next week.